Well, hello everyone and welcome. Uh, my name's Liam Freeman and I'm the Associate Director of the Creative Industries Cluster in the College of Vocational Education here at RMIT University. For today's presentation, I am joined by Annette Cook and Nancy Everingham, who are both program managers in our design program areas. Both Annette and Nancy will introduce themselves to you shortly. Today we'll be, we'll be speaking to the programs which will include areas such as graphic design, product design, furniture design, interior design and decoration, and also uh, visual merchandising. All these programs have a huge reputation, are world renowned and allow students to work and learn across a variety of disciplines and replicate real world experience and develop deep discipline skills needed uh, once they start their careers. But before we get underway, uh, I would like to acknowledge on behalf of RMIT University, the people of the Woiwurrung and Boonwurrung language groups of the Eastern Kulin Nation on whose unceded lands we conduct the business of the university. RMIT University respectfully acknowledges their ancestors and elders past and present. RMIT also acknowledges the traditional custodians and their ancestors of the lands and waters across Australia where we conduct our business. RMIT is committed to redefining its relationship in working with and supporting Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander self-determination. The university's goal is to achieve lasting transformation by maturing its values, values, culture, policy and structures in a way that embeds reconciliation in everything that we do. In line with the principles of Bunjil, we are changing our ways of knowing, working and being to support sustainable reconciliation and activate a relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous staff, students and community. So once again, thanks for joining us and listening in. Uh, it's great to have you here and I will now pass you over to Annette Cook, who will begin our program presentation. But just before I hand over to and then a reminder that you are able to post questions into our live chat function of the session and that Nancy and, Ed will, and, and Annette will have about 10 to 15 minutes to respond to some of these questions towards the end of the session. There will also be a text based response as well to any questions you might have. So thank you and we might get underway. And so over to you, Annette. Thank you. Hello everyone, thanks very much Liam. Yes, my name's Annette Cook and um, I am Program Manager for uh, Graphic Design, Product Design and Furniture Design at RMIT and I'm going to talk about those uh, three areas and they are particularly uh, delivered in the TAFE or VET area here at RMIT. To start with it's Graphic Design and uh, it is a, um, it's an art of visualising ideas, explains, decorates, identifies and imposes meaning on our, on our world. Uh, as a graphic designer, it's a very diverse practice. Uh, creative skills are applied in, in a wide range of industries from um, uh, branding, business cards, stationery, logos, through to signage, posters, working in advertising, publishing, newspapers, magazine, both digital and print, as well as books, motion graphics, uh, editorial design, website design, mobile app design, and data visualization across a number of different uh, industries, wayfinding, environmental graphics, and typeface de design, to name a few. And um, application of graphic design is continually emerging as needs uh, eventuate. Next slide, thanks Nick. So the programs that we deliver in graphic design in the VET area or TAFE area are a diploma of graphic design. This is a one year qualification that is part, that is part of a national training package and is a set of competencies and it's aimed to provide a strong skill focus and develop your technical skills in digital design, finished art, which is uh, the term for preparing your files for print or for digital output, typography and illustration, 
along with uh, a very thorough understanding of how you develop your ideas and your design concepts, how you um, resolve them and take them through the design process for a variety of different outcomes. This program is very skills based and um, you will become competent in the industry standard software, which is Adobe Creative Cloud, and that is a major focus of the program. It's quite technical. Um, and if you were actually entering this program straight from year 12, you may consider it as a program that you could move on into industry, but you would be recommended to perhaps to build a bit more skills or develop and enrich some of those skills a little further in further study. However, if you had some previous study in an allied area, you may choose this one year diploma of graphic design to just um, enhance some of your skill set with that technical expertise. So it can um, be used in a number of different ways. This program is delivered out at Brunswick and uh, we have a pathway program with um, our associate degree in graphic design and I'll talk about that next. Nick, could you next slide please? This is a two year program that is written by RMIT and it is uh, sits within the higher ed model. And so therefore it has, whilst we still deliver the technical skills uh, that are uh, that are delivered in the diploma. It's also enhanced with more um, conceptual investigation around design and design thinking. So you'll explore many forms of visual and graphic communication, illustration, computer aided design, typography again, book design, packaging uh, and publicity material in many formats. Again, you will also be predominantly using that uh, Adobe software and, and developing and refining your skills in that, particularly in second year. Also in the second year, you will do a period of work placement and in the final semester, you'll develop a capstone project and that's quite targeted and uh, developed by you. This program is also um, delivered out at Brunswick and if you've you can either enter it straight into the first year and complete the two years, or you could consider completing the, the diploma first, and then it, there is an articulation agreement where you can move straight into the second year of the associate degree. Um, this is an example of a capstone project that students do in their final semester. They actually um, work with their teachers to define a project themselves, and then they create all the deliverables that will be attached to a, quite a major and complex project. Um, and that will be both print-based and uh, web and uh, social media-based. So big range of um, outcomes for that project. Uh, next slide. And then we take those capstone projects into a major exhibition where industry will um, come and provide feedback on your capstone. You'll also be able to network in that exhibition space. Industry also do provide feedback as you develop your capstone as well. The program also, uh, all the programs have varying um, projects that come through from industry where we collaborate with industry. Uh, this one with Kmart uh, required the students to uh, collaborate with their design team to uh, resolve a packaging design for a new range of um, uh, saleable items in their stores. So that was a collaboration we had there. Students also in their final semester of associate degree do approximately two weeks of industry placement. And that may also be depending an industry project where they'll work um, in a freelance capacity with, with the studio. And we have had some also international projects that are connected to that work placement recently. Uh, next slide, thanks Nick. We're very fortunate in this program area to have some support from a, from a, a trust called the Coley Print Trust. And every year we uh, provide 20 scholarships for an international study tour. Uh, we, our last one was in 2019, Amsterdam and Berlin, and 20 students and, and staff went over uh, 
doing workshops across those two cities. Uh, unfortunately, last year and this year that was put on hold, but we hope to revive it for 2022 and head overseas again. We also have some generous um, scholarships uh, awards for academic um, uh, award achievement from the Coley Print Trust. And we offer our awards that are for the capstone projects and they're nominated by industry. Um, so next, and our partners and sponsors range from um, uh, product suppliers to, to printers, to, to design studios, advertising agencies, and the trust. Next slide, thanks Nick. So I did mention some of those um, outcomes for a graphic designer once they're trained. And last year we had three of our alumni come and talk to our students and present on where they were in industry. And we had uh, Abby Schmidt, she's actually working in publishing, both digital and print at Executive Media. She had had some previous study, but moved straight from our qualification straight into um, the work workforce. Um, Madison Tierney is working at Studio Round and she actually came through our programs, went on to the Bachelor of Common Design and then out into industry. And then Katrina Matic, she came through our project our programs and then went straight out into advertising and she's working now at Leo Burnett. So there's a whole range of different um, places you might find um, uh, a career in graphic design. Next slide, thanks Nick. And the last program I want to mention, which I put in the graphic design uh, bundle, but it really is a more generic uh, program. This is also delivered out at uh, Brunswick and it is a foundational skill and um, a pathway program. It runs for six months, 20 weeks. We run it twice a year and we have some brilliant um, guaranteed pathways where you can move through into a whole range of different design programs at RMIT. You focus on design thinking. There's creative design projects, lots of practical hands-on and drawing skills. You'll, you'll look at both 2D and 3D design. So students do come out of this and move on into uh, product or into um, building design um, or back into graphic design or multimedia. There's a whole range where you could go to with this Cert 4. And you look at all those fundamental um, uh, areas of study in a, a design kind of program. It's also a great program for anyone who's not sure designs for them. You could get a taster in this program or you're not quite sure what what area of design you want to go into and you we the the staff are very skilled and they will help um, uh, direct you and help you develop projects that will suit certain certain areas of design you might be interested in to, in going into. Next slide, thanks, Nick. So in summary, within that suite, uh, they're all delivered at Brunswick and they're all delivered. We have two entries per year, so uh, February entry and a mid-year entry. Certificate four is six months. You don't require a year 12. There's no prereqs and there is no folio to apply. The diploma runs for one year. There is no, there's no year 12 requirement, but you will need to submit a selection task for this. Uh, the associate degree is for two years. You do require a year 12 or equivalent and uh, a, an English score. And you will also be need to submit a selection task for this one. So that's it for the graphic design. I'll now just move on to the next program. Thanks, Nick, which is product design. And I'll, next slide, thanks, Nick, yes. Diploma of Product Design is a national training package product. It runs for two years and it's delivered out at Brunswick. It's a hands-on pathway into the world of design of objects uh, that people manufacture, buy, use and appreciate. There are four main areas of study. Uh, Hands-on skills, you'll 
completing this program, you'll become a really sophisticated at sketching, rendering, and understanding modeling and, and hand fabrication. You'll have a really thorough, thorough knowledge of a whole range of software that's um, used for 3D visualization and explanation. And that's a range of them there. You'll have a, a thorough understanding of the design process from idea generation through to selecting materials, types of manufacturing processes, how to ensure you're working sustainably across the whole um, design process, the documentation required and developing prototypes. And alongside all that ma making side is the professional development knowledge, looking at consumer market behavior, design history, and other skills around time management and business management. This program is delivered in these exceptional maker spaces out of Brunswick, um, which uh, have a whole range of different facilities and equipment for um, realizing your product design. They're also um, industry projects uh, come through every year. This one was where the students work with the city of Melbourne, where they uh, all put forward a design for the Melbourne Awards Trophy. It was a competition and they presented that to their ideas to the council chambers. The final one was manufactured at RMIT, the selected winner. And um, the, the student who won the design also attended the ceremony and got an internship at the council design team. So other projects, thanks Nick for this program. Uh, there was a opportunity for students to uh, enter a design competition to redesign some garments for Rainbird. Uh, so that was specifically around new technology. And there was the contribution that they made to producing a scale model of the city of Melbourne for Melbourne knowledge that was shown at Melbourne Knowledge Week. And they contributed to all um, parts of the uh, production process for that model, uh, which was um, a great uh, uh, project to be involved in. So product design graduates can go into uh, display and exhibition design, furniture and lighting, packaging, toy design, theatre and film props, or medical products, to name just a few areas. Um, next slide, Nick. So in summary, uh, it's delivered out at Brunswick campus, runs for two years. You do not require a year 12. Uh, however, it is advising that if, in your, if you're in year 12 at the moment, you should apply through VTAC and other people not year 12 can apply directly to the program. There is a selection task um, that is required for this program. And um, there are, there's an pathway agreement from the CERT 4 into this program as well, if you're actually interested in that. So that's product design. Now I'll move on to my final program, which is furniture design. And um, this is the associate degree in design furniture. It's one of a kind in Australia. It's um, a, a really um, niche program of amazing skill building in both furniture and object making. They have their own manifesto, or we have our own manifesto. We make real objects. Making is fundamental to what it means to be human. We're always lean, learning through doing, learning through the physical making of objects. We play with an open mind. We look at things as a child would, discovering the wonders of the new. We keep it real by using live industry projects and current industry mentors to give you in your projects. We participate participate in the field of design and making, networking with industry and alumni, and we aim to reduce our footprint and we consider how and what we use. This uh, program is two years. It is similar to the other associate degree. It is written by RMIT and it's uh, modelled on the higher ed um, structure of learning. Um, there's a whole, it's, amazingly connected with industry. 
so much contribution from industry coming into this program and also the students engaging back out in with industry. Um, a lot of initiatives in this space. Uh, for example, the Tiny House Project, they cross collaborated with a, a number of programs at RMIT, textile design, graphic design, looking at uh, reduced space living and using sustainable materials. They work with um, Britain Timber suppliers to um, design nested tables and presented those in an exhibition. They also work on uh, projects like the Balcony Project where they visualise um, what kind of sustainable fur furniture could be um, uh, located in outdoor spaces, outdoor public spaces. So those are just a few of the industry projects. Um, they've got great connections with industry, suppliers, um, manufacturers, as well as uh, designer makers and uh, design studios and alumni. Uh, next slide, next slide, thanks, Nick. So career outcomes. Um, many graduates will move into freelance design. They may work in design teams, a studio designer or maker. They may work in production or CAD documentation because of the skills that, that they actually learn in the software um, experience in the program. And they may also work in sales contact, contract sales support. Some students may choose to go on to industrial design the bachelor um, and same with the product design. Some industrial design students have come back the other way and done the furniture design qualification. So there's a bit of synergy with both the furniture design and the product design with the industrial design bachelor. So in summary, it's delivered at RMIT campus, runs for two years. Uh, you do require a year 12 or equivalent and there will be a folio presentation. And it is, there's also a guaranteed pathway from that certificate for in design to move into this program. And if you're a current RMIT student who's attended today, you can apply for all these programs directly that we're mentioning today through the direct portal. Okay, so that's that's me finished with my program. So thanks very much. And I'm, there's going to be time later on to ask some other individual questions. I'm going to um, put, uh, pass you over to Nancy Everingham who's going to talk about her area. Thanks very much. Thanks, Annette. That was fabulous. It was wonderful to hear about all those areas of design. Um, I'm Nancy Everingham. I'm the Program Manager for Interior Design and Decoration and Visual Merchandising. And I'm going to talk to you today about all the programs we have in both these discipline areas. So to kick off, I'm going to start with interior design and decoration. Um, in the vocational space or TAFE as we, know, as we very affectionately know it, um, we have three programs in interior design and decoration. So it's really um, gives you a lot of options in this discipline area to really follow your passion and fulfill your dream of becoming an interior decorator or designer. So to start with, um, we have the certificate for an interior decoration. It's a one year full time program and it is a very practical course and st starting at foundation and building you up to really um, go out into the industry, into the thriving inter interior decoration design area. Um, it is. It has multiple intakes at um, February intake and uh, July intake, so there's lots of options there as well. Um, in a minute after I've talked about the programs, I'll go through all the um, foundation skills that you build up in all of these programs. The second one is the Diploma of Interior Design. It is a two-year full-time program. So we don't offer any part-time programs in both these areas. We do ask you to commit to a full-time load. It again is a dy dynamic and industry relevant um, diploma where you explore practical and theoretical decoration and design frameworks to support a wide range um, of projects creating innovative interior concepts and proposals. Both the certificate for and the diploma are training packages um, and as um, Annette mentioned in her presentation, they sit um, within that training package space. 
The third program in the interior design and decoration area is the associate degree. This is a program that has been developed by RMIT and it actually sits in the higher ed space, but we te teach it in a vocational context. So the associate degree is also a two year full time program and it does have intakes both at February and July. So there's lots of opportunity also um, to start this program if you miss out on one intake or the other. Uh, further on in the presentation, I'll talk about more um, what you need for all three of these programs in order to apply. So let's look at what you learn in the interior design and decoration space. Um, we really start you at foundation level. So you develop a range of foundation skills that then you apply to more complex, complex projects as you move through the programs. We teach you how to visually communicate both by hand. There's a lot of emphasis on hand drawing, sketching, and then um, building all those um, communications up through color, color renders um, and into the digital space. So we also teach a range of industry relevant software packages. Um, to mention a few, there's the Adobe um, Creative Suite, uh, Revit, CAD, and SketchUp. So really we're trying to build up your skills in this area so that you can very effectively communicate your ideas um, to your clients and really bring your projects to life. Alongside our foundation skills, we teach you about the design process. So we really um, get you to think about how you're generating ideas and concepts and put them into the project space. Um, there's a big emphasis on soft furnishings in all three programs. So um, we look at how the soft furnishing and the decoration areas really impact on interior design to create really dynamic spaces. Uh, next slide, thanks Nick. Um, we look at a range of critical thinking skills that then are applied to your projects. So we begin to um, get you to look around the world to, to really become more aware of the spaces that you're, you're occupying every day, the spaces that you're um, moving through each day and the impact that they're having on those around you and yourself. So we get you through that um, critical inquiry to really think about the environments that we're in. Interior design and decoration is very much about the built environment and so that needs a certain awareness from you. So it's a really exciting space to be in, to begin to think about everything that is around you, the, the materiality of the spaces that you occupy, the quality of those spaces, and as I said before, how they're affecting people, right through from the residential, through to commercial spaces, spaces that look at well-being and health. So it is a very um, interesting area to study and especially now that we are occupying our homes more and more as, as life has changed quite dramatically in the last few years. Um, we also, as we, we move through first year or in the certificate four through the, the first semester and into the second semester, we then in the second year of your studies or at more advanced levels, we then um, take all those foundation skills and we get you to apply them to actual projects. So your ideas um, come to life, your skills come to life, and you really begin to explore how a project is built in this space. Um, through the selection of materials and finishes, um, the ideas about your concepts and how they're going to work in three-dimensional form. And then we also develop and start to build up your communication skills to be quite sophisticated and really move you towards that work ready space so that you can confidently go into the industry and um, practice as, as an interior decorator or designer. Next slide, thanks Nick. Um, we, the interior, the diploma and the uh, certificate four of interior decoration are both have a strong residential focus. So in saying that all our projects are focused on um, residential type environments and we start from very small spaces and we build up to a whole 
um, suite or flow of, of spaces in the residential area. As part of this practice, um, once you have decided your concept and you've really got a good idea of what, what you could do for your client, we then move you from that concept stage through to um, design development and into documentation stage. So in those um, final two stages of a project, the complex um, needs of documentation are realised through teaching you programs such as AutoCAD and Revit, which are industry standard programs that you, you, you document in um, your projects in. So once um, you have your concept, you can then move through the whole package through the documentation stages and get your ideas to a level that potentially a builder or your client then can then take forward and realise in real life. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. Throughout all three programs, we engage um, with industry. So we feel it's really important that you have um, that feedback from the industry that you are, got, you are the future of essentially. So throughout um, first and second year, we try to weave into your um, courses industry projects where you actually inter interact with the client, who the industry who becomes your client, and they give you um, feedback um, in a very real way about what you're doing and um, how you're developing. Some examples of this, are, as you can see on the screen, the BQ bedroom project. So we partner with BQ Design, who are a soft furnishing manufacturing company, and the students are briefed by BQ. They then develop up a, a bedroom design and concept. And at the end of that project, there's a panel of industry experts who then um, look at all the projects you, you have to present your idea to the panel. And then they choose one final project that then is put into production. And you can see here in this um, slide that bedroom is in production with, with everything brought to life in the three dimensional. And the, another project was um, with the Design Institute of Australia. We partnered with the Design Institute of Australia to um, look at the upgrade of their headquarters in Collingwood. So again, um, the Design Institute has a very wide reach of industry professionals who were able to give feedback on the students' projects. And currently that is moving into a final stage of um, working that up to actually be installed in the headquarters, um, hopefully in 2022. And finally, um, the Fire and Ice Boutique Hotel. So this is a um, competition that we entered into with other providers from all around Australia uh, in the diploma program. And it was to design several hotel suites um, in a hotel in Wollongong in New South Wales. So again, that is a really good example of um, another industry project where students are really um, understand and get an insight into how the industry works and are able to really test that industry, I suppose, in a way. All right, thanks, Nick. Next slide. Um, further to our um, projects that we weave into um, the um, curriculum, we have a few industry prizes and uh, that sit around the projects. So two examples of these are the Rad Radford Icon Industry Prize and the Nexus Design Jan Faulkner Prize for Design Excellence. So the Radford Icon Industry Prize is a fabric house that partners um, with the diploma program, and it looks at um, an outstanding first year student. So this not only looks at the work that you're producing, but it looks at your community engagement. So how you're engaging with the program, around the program, even with your fellow classmates. So it's a really exciting prize to be a part of. Um, the winner uh, wins a little bit of money, but they also have the opportunity um, to work with Radford Icon in the showroom and really get an insight into that side of the industry. The Nexus Design um, Prize for Design Excellence is a prize that's awarded to a second year graduating student from either the associate degree or the diploma. So this um, looks again at um, design excellence and, and an overall um,
finalise look at the student through a folio. And again, it's a panel interview. Uh, the winner of this prize gets to um, work with Nexus Design over a few months following uh, the when they've graduated. And again, it gives them a really great insight into the industry. And the final part of this page is showroom visits. So we also weave into the curriculum a lot of showroom visits in the soft furnishings area, in the manufacturing and specification side of interior design and decoration, and also to places like the uh, National Gallery of Victoria and Heidi Gallery. So really we get you out there in the community interacting with that industry that you're going to become a part of. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. At the end of the um, full-time programs, the diploma and the associate degree, we run an exhibition. So this is your graduate exhibition where you get to put yourself on show and you get to show your family and friends all the hard work that you've really worked so hard over two years to achieve. Uh, we call it Flux and it is um, an exhibition that you as a student put together with your fellow students. You have to fundraise for it, you have to go out into industry, let them know about it, get them on board. And then finally, um, you have a, a fabulous celebration where you show your work. But also it gives you an opportunity to really position yourself as a designer or a decorator um, emerging into the industry. So it's a fabulous way to end off two years of very hard work. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. Some of our industry partners, um, as you can see on this slide, range from fabric houses uh, to paint suppliers to interior designers and architects. So we really um, look into a broad range of the interior design and decoration industry. We also um, very closely partner with the Design Institute of Australia, who's, who supports one of our mentor programs in the diploma where you, um, on top of your studies, have the opportunity to have a 10 week placement in the industry. So we can't um, survive without our industry partners and they really are a fabulous part of all three of the programs presented today as part of the interior design and decoration um, program suite. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. Some of the um, career outcomes that you can um, work towards as part of um, this part of the industry. So design and decoration consultancies in, um, in soft furnishing and residential is a big part of where our um, graduates land. Assisting designers and decorators in large architectural firms. Um, being a CAD operator or documenter in commercial areas and also residential. Um, management roles in interior design and decoration departments, and also colour consultancies um, with large paint com companies or self-employed. So it does um, prepare you for a wide range of the industry and where you feel, feel your skills most readily fit. As part of the diploma and the associate degree, there are fabulous pathways onto further education as well, which I'll talk about a little bit more at the end of the presentation. So in summary, all three programs are delivered at the city campus in um, Cardigan Street at the top end of our fabulous city campus. The certificate for in interior decoration is a uh, sorry, there's a typo there, it's interior decoration, is a one year full time program. There is no um, prerequisite and there's no selection criteria for that. The Diploma of Interior Design is again a two year full time program. And as Annette mentioned earlier, there's no year 12 requirement for this program, but there is a selection task. So we, we asked you to, to complete the Interior Design Diploma Selection Task. The Associate Degree in Interior Decoration Design is a two year full time program also, and it does require you to have a study score of 25 in English or um, EAL or at least 20 in English. So there is a requirement there at VCE level um, as a prerequisite. You must also um, submit the Interior Design Associate Degree Selection Task. And as I mentioned before, all of these three programs are available in February 
and July intakes and for the February intake available through VTAC um, and direct for those who are current RMIT students. Thanks Nick, next slide. So now I'm going to wrap up with the visual merchandising program which again is at the city campus in fabulous bespoke um, facilities designed especially to develop your visual merchandising skills. Next slide, thanks Nick. So what is the Diploma of Visual Merchandising? It is recognised um, in the industry as a design leader with a reputation for preparing individuals for work in a range of sectors. And very much like the furniture program, it's a really, really bespoke program that is um, offered in, in a few providers around Australia, but it, it, provi it provides very targeted um, training and learning for this area of the industry. As a visual merchandising or display designer, um, you will work in retail, events, exhibition or styling, and you will maintain an organisational image, service and merchandise to its customers and use your design talents to create stimulating and engage or engaging spatial designs that promote products and services. You will design um, and develop and create visual displays using advanced construction and presentation techniques that use colour, lighting, space, photography, digital technology, sen sensory inputs and interactive installations. So in working through this qualification, you develop skills to create these displays in all of those um, ways. You'll learn commercial, retail, exhibition, in event environments in world-class facilities. Uh, you'll work in purpose-built studios. You'll have a major street frontage, which we saw in that first slide um, of windows, which is always creates lots of excitement when the new display comes in. The diploma, again, as in all these programs that we've pre presented today, are really hands-on design-based curriculum that is monitored and delivered by experienced and practice, practicing professionals. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. So the summary of this program is it is one year full time, but it does have a really fabulous range of pathway um, opportunities that we'll talk about in a little while. You, um, there are no prerequisites for year 12, but you must complete and submit the vit visual merchandising um, diploma selection task, and it is delivered at the city campus, like I mentioned earlier. Thanks, Nick. So what will we do in this program or what will you do in this program? You'll um, develop a range of foundation skills that are developed and then applied to industry projects. So you can see through a few of the um, images on the screen now that you develop um, skills that um, to draw and um, really communicate your design ideas. So you'll learn how to sketch and render by hand. You'll learn how to document. Um, and then really communicate your ideas visually. So like all of the programs presented here today under design, it's really a lot about visual communication. And so that's where we're getting you to a very high standard. Um, in visual merchandising, you'll also learn how to um, style through photographic um, styling and also through window and display styling. Thanks, Nick, for the next slide. Uh, here we show you a range of graphic communication and photo styling skills um, that then are applied to industry projects. And as a part of this training, we also um, introduce you to the Adobe Creative Suite and also to um, SketchUp as methods to really visually just, um, communicate your ideas. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. Here we can see how through that wonderful visual communication, your ideas can be put into a window. So once you've um, created your idea and we go through the creative design process um, and you've nailed it to the one design that you really want to create, we then teach you how to work with a wide range of materials to then create in three dimensions your design ideas. So you can see this wonderful display here that was based on a Las Vegas idea. Um, 
that the student um, really worked the idea up, got it to a level where they were happy with it, and then built it in three dimensions. And the um, final display on, on the right, or your, your left maybe, um, shows that this idea has been built into a window display. Um, then the ideas of the colour, the lighting, um, the placement of everything in that display um, come into play, and it's a really important part of really nailing a good window display. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. I think I may be running out of time. Oh, no, we're doing OK. So um, this program also interacts very, very heavily with industry. Um, they are so supportive of this program and really are so excited to be part of the program and work with you as the future of this industry. Uh, the slide on screen is a collaboration that we did last year and again we're doing this year with Barclay Square Shopping Centre in Brunswick. So the students were able to um, work with the centre management who gave a very um, uh, in-depth in brief into what they wanted to um, create throughout the centre this theme around the sparkly bear. So if any anyone out there knows the, the shopping centre, it is very fondly locally known as Sparkly Bear. So Sparkly Bear came into life last Christmas and he was seen all throughout the shopping centre. So the students got to work with the retailers, they got to work with the centre management and they got to really see what an impact their work can have on in an interior environment. So it was a really wonderful project and we're so excited to again be working, working with Barclay Square this year to do it all over again. Thanks, Nick. So you can see on screen a few more of the, the um, industry partners we work with. Country Road is a big supporter of the program and students working um, with Country Road get to go into their stores and again create wonderful um, windows, um, work with the merchandise and really importantly work with the brand. So they really get to understand how to work with someone else's brand and bring that to life um, in the stores. Uh, Cotton On are another very big um, supporter of the program, Mecca, Olivia Sparks and Bonnie Kay, the stylist. And woven into some of these industry partners are our graduates. So the graduates go out into the industry and then they come back in, come back to us and we work with them really well. So next slide, please, Nick. Career outcomes. What can you expect to do as a visual merchandiser? So as mentioned earlier, you can um, work in retail, um, design and display, photo styling, store design, exhibition design, event and design consultancy. So you'll have the opportunity to work with national, international brands and retail stores, event and exhibition companies, photo styling and display production companies, and promote and support studios in all of these um, areas of the industry. It's a dynamic industry and a really exciting industry to be part of. Thanks, Nick. Next slide. Right, so finally, we're going to talk a little bit about pathways. And Annette, please jump in if you'd like to at, it, <laughs> at this slide, because we're going to cover everything at this point. So to begin with, um, before I go through a few of the details of our pathways, the pathways are designed for you to keep studying. So um, you may get to a point where you want to study and you may not for whatever reason, be able to enter at that level. So there are many other entry levels that you can come in at and then successfully pathway through to that program that perhaps you really have your heart set on. Um, a big part of this, and especially if you are VCE students or um, at the moment finishing off your studies, is to keep an eye on your preferences. So preferences are set at a certain point, but then you do have the opportunity to change preferences. So just keep that in the back of your mind as you're going through these next few months. So we have um, various entry points. You can start at Certificate 4 level, you can start at Diploma, Associate Degree or Bachelor level. But if you don't achieve any of those levels, you can start at Certificate 4, you can pathway through to 
through to a diploma program, through to an associate degree program, and then through finally to a bachelor program, if that is the path that you're wishing, wishing to take. Uh, all these programs have very successful entries into the industry as well. So you can jump off into industry with really fabulous work ready skills at any at any point. So for instance, um, if we maybe Annette, I'll take a path through from the certificate four. So we can start in the certificate four of design. From that program, you can choose your discipline area and go forward into graphic design, product design, fashion styling, visual merchandising or interior design. So there are some really great areas that you can pathway from the certificate for in design. And I think also you can go through, yes, into the building design area, architectural drafting, which is an advanced diploma. The interior uh, certificate four of interior decoration also has a pathway into the diploma. So from diploma level, you can see there in that second column, you can then pathway through to the associate degree um, suite of programs in graphic design, furniture design, fashion merchandising and interior design. From that diploma level also, you can um, pathway through to the bachelor programs in your discipline area. And all these pathways come with a combination of credits or guaranteed entries. It's really best um, if you have an idea of um, the pathways that you'd like to take is to have a look on our website because it really explains very clearly there what credits or guaranteed entries you may be um, eligible for. Uh, from associate degree, you can then um, pathway through to the bachelor um, in that discipline area that you're interested in. And as mentioned before, you'll either have a guaranteed entry into the program once you complete the program before, and you may have um, you may be eligible for credits in that discipline area as well, which could cut down your study time. So really fabulous um, selection of pathway options in the design area so that you can really achieve your dream. So I think, Nick, we are at the end of our formal presentation. Um, important dates, finally. Um, so when do we start in the vocational education area? We're slightly different to our higher ed colleagues where we start semester one at the beginning of February, running for 16 weeks and semester two then starts at the 4th of July and runs for another 16 weeks, finishing um, early November. So um, if you're successful to get into any of these wonderful programs that we've talked about today, just keep those dates in the back of your mind because they are slightly different to um, higher educational dates. But yeah, all right, thanks everyone. I think now we're going to jump into a little bit of Q&A which is, oh, folio requirements, yes. We're going to quickly talk about folio requirements. Annette, did you want to kick off with anything specifically in your area about folio requirements for the uh, <clears throat> business to think about? Thanks, Nancy. That was really great hearing you. Brilliant. Um, I, our folio, as mentioned previously, there will be specifics around what is required for each selection each selection task, depending on which program you're applying for. So you need to go onto the uh, web, website and read what that selection task will be. We have in graphic design simplified ours a lot this year and only requiring three pieces of work. So hopefully that will make it a little easier for people putting those selection tasks together. Um, so um, uh, that, that's where we are. I know that with product design that they also have a, a digital selection task. So all the graphic designs are digital. And my understanding with, with furniture is that they were, they would in the past have a, uh, a presentation, a folio presentation, but that will now be a digital submission of folio. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
what I would say about selection tasks is there is a lot of information, detailed information for each of the programs on our website outlining exactly what we're expecting you to put in the selection task. But generally it's a, it's a range of creative um, work that you've done. So you may be going through VCE and doing um, VizCom and so forth. So we're asking you to curate and put together a new folio for us from perhaps from those folios or any other creative work that you do in everyday life. Um, we're really just wanting to see a wide range of your creative skills at this point. Um, I might just quickly go to the questions. There's a questions about the certificate for selection tasks. There are no selection tasks for certificate for. Um, you may um, submit a personal statement if you wish, but there's no formal um, we're not asking you to submit any selection tasks for that level of qualification. Another. Uh, oh, yeah, Nancy, there's a, there, you might be able to answer the difference between associate degree and bachelor, which yes, comes certainly. up a lot. You might, yes, yeah. yeah. So, yes, this is a, a little bit of a confusing space. The so associate degrees are higher educational qualifications. They're two years long and they're taught in the vocational context. The bachelor degrees are four years and some have embedded three to four years with embedded honours. Um, and they also are higher ed, education, uh, higher ed um, programs. I suppose the major difference between an associate degree and a bachelor is associate degrees degree is still um, applied learning. It's very hands on. We are teaching a very wide range of skills in a lot of detail. Um, in saying that, we are also weaving in a higher level of critical thinking that we're expecting you to become that independent learner. So we're really wanting you to push your ideas, um, really take, um, really push those ideas to a, a, a really con highly conceptual stage, whilst also focusing on those um, really um, important industry hands-on skills. So the, that. That is a difference that is nuanced within our associate degrees and the bachelors. The bachelors, of course, they're often four years, three to four years. So you get to um, go beyond that two years in developing your skills and um, working on much longer theoretical projects, I suppose you could say. Annette, would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, no, I, that's a great um, explanation of uh, the difference uh, Nancy, yes. I think also we've written these associate degrees internally from the TAFE area, VET area, because we have the expertise with the technical skill building and that is infused in every step of the associate degree and we are, the whole intention is that you are being prepared for industry. Correct, they are yeah. not really designed as a pathway program. But of course you can, but we are, when you leave the associate degree, you will be prepped to move into industry. So yeah, you've got that option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the associate degrees have that fabulous capstone project in the final semester where you really begin, you really get to work on an entire project in whatever discipline you're undertaking. And it's, and it's a very independent led pro project often in in every discipline of associate degree that we run here at RMIT. So I think we are on time. Are there any other questions that we need to address that are popping up? Um, I think that's that I might think be that's, it. That sounds Thanks. like all good. Well, wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Annette. All good. OK, thank you. Thank you everyone for listening today. Enjoy the rest of RMIT Open Day. Absolutely. Bye.